another day, another story. Forging, despite being a highly controlled and precise manufacturing process, can sometimes encounter defects. These defects can affect the quality and integrity of forged components. Here, we will explore some common forging defects and suggest remedies to address them. 1. Defect. Incomplete forging results in insufficient material flow, leaving voids or unfilled sections in the component. Remedy. Increase the forging temperature, optimize the die design, and adjust the forging process parameters to ensure complete material flow and fill. 2. Defect. Cracks can occur due to improper forging temperature, excessive deformation, or cooling rates that are too rapid. Remedy. Control the heating and cooling rates carefully, maintain the appropriate forging temperature, and avoid excessive deformation to prevent cracks. 3. Defect. Cold shut, it is a defect where two or more portions of the material do not fully bond during forging, resulting in a seam-like imperfection. Remedy. Increase the forging temperature, optimize die design, and apply adequate pressure to ensure proper bonding and eliminate cold shuts. 4. Defect. Flashing it occurs when excess material escapes from the die during forging, leading to irregularities on the component surface. Remedy. Adjust the die geometry, apply the appropriate amount of pressure, and ensure the die's alignment to minimize or eliminate flashing. 5. Defect. Laps and folds, these are caused by overlapping or folding of the material layers during forging, resulting in weak spots. Remedy. Improve die design and tooling to ensure proper material flow and avoid overlapping or folding during forging. 6. Defect. Underfilled sections, these occur when certain areas of the component do not receive adequate material during forging. Remedy. Optimize the die design, adjust the forging process parameters, and ensure proper die alignment to eliminate underfilled sections. 7. Defect. Overfilled sections, it result from excessive material being forced into certain areas, leading to deformities. Remedy. Carefully control the pressure and deformation levels during forging to prevent overfilling in specific areas. 8. Defect. Segregation, it is the uneven distribution of alloying elements within the material, leading to inconsistent properties. Remedy. Use high-quality, uniform feedstock materials and optimize the heating and cooling processes to minimize segregation. 9. Defect. Grain size variation variations in grain size can affect material properties and component remedy. Control the heating and cooling rates during forging to achieve uniform grain size throughout the component. 10. Defect. Decarburization, it is the loss of carbon from the material's surface during heating, which can reduce hardness and strength. 2. Remedy. Use controlled atmospheres or protective coatings during heating to minimize decarburization. Addressing these forging defects requires a combination of process optimization, careful material selection, and adherence to strict quality control measures. By identifying and mitigating these issues, manufacturers can produce high-quality forged components that meet stringent industry standards. Thanks for watching. Myself wondering what had happened to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward.